Aston Martin's latest supercar, the Vanquish Volante, might not occupy the rarefied air of even costlier jewels like are the of course. Neither does it pack similar levels of tech, but it nevertheless will scoop a $300, 820 chunk out of your bank account. What does that princely sum buy? History and prestige, for starters. As of 2013, Aston claims a storied 100-year history full of iconic cars and racing successes, plus a few bankruptcies for added drama. There were the competition Ulsters and DBR1, 2S and, of course, the James Bond affiliation. The firm's honors also include a royal warrant of appointment to HRH the Prince of Wales, who owns a couple of Astons for motor manufacture and repair. You pay for those unmistakable Aston Martin aesthetics. The Vanquish Volante wears the brand's signature grill, used for decades and modernized early in the past decade by Ian Callum for the Here it's perched above a double-lip lower front air dam. The rear graphics and the drop-top's shapely flanks draw on Ashton's heritage, too, but in a dramatic, contemporary way. The body sides are defined by three character lines. The muscular wheel arches visually signal the ample underhood power, and an organically shaped spoiler traces the rear of the decalade. In profile, this Aston eschews the typical exotic car long hood. Short deck proportions for more balance front rear. The megabucks also go toward the pile of carbon fiber used in the Volante, including the entirety of the bodywork, which lowers weight and adds strength and design flexibility. Under that skin lies a bonded aluminum structure buttressed by additional carbon fiber pieces. Aston claims a 14% improvement in torsional rigidity for the Volante's fourth generation vertical horizontal pH architecture over its predecessor that'd be the, the better to quell classic open car body squeaks.